Anna Waki Kanako, and she's a TV star from <laughs> from from uh, Tokyo, and they're here filming today at the uh, Vine Bridge, and they interviewed me. house in the kitchen area which we've got because it's a um, shared facility so we're going to make the most of it and have finally some Japanese toast the Japanese white bread so sweet so delicious using only the best Hokkaido butter and Lawson milk and oh yeah, what else we got here muesli Japanese muesli some eggs which were only less than 200 yen, I think six eggs for two bucks. <laughs> so, um, yeah, now we're gonna have breakfast. Kazurabashi Bridge, which is the vine bridge, and a completely natural vine bridge reinforced with steel. Um, apparently, that's how they used to grow them in the old days. But yeah, it's directly across the road from our guest house. Five hundred and fifty yen each to cross it, though, to, to walk about thirty meters, if that. So I've decided to go to the double vine bridge that's further down the road, and probably come back here tomorrow. Second Kazurabashi, uh, the one that's nowhere near our place, it's about 45 minutes drive. Not that it's very far, it's only 20 k's or 28 k's, but it is a really narrow and winding road, so it's very, very slow. Um, single car uh, width in some places, so yeah, it's a bit of a challenge, but we're here now and we've paid our 550 yen per person to come check out the wine bridge. freaking out at all on this uh, vine bridge. It's reinforced with steel cables, which is re uh, reassuring, but there's big enough gaps to um, give pause. Uh, good thing is the kids aren't freaking out, they're actually enjoying the walk across the bridge. Um, it's beautiful actually, it's nice. Beautiful waterfalls and river and trees and mountains and nature crap. I wonder if it would be totally unfair of me to say that it's uh, basically a seal reinforced bridge with concrete supports uh, wrapped in vines rather than a vine bridge. But still, very spectacular. I like it. I love the creakiness of it. Every, every step you take, creak, creak, creak. It's awesome. I've 
behind me now we have a cable cart. It's a wooden handled trolley that goes across the uh, river. Um, maybe a touch less frightening than walking across the actual bridges. I don't know. We're going to give it a go. There's a Japanese TV crew here at the moment and they're um, filming it and doing it. So I, wonder, I don't know. Make, making a TV show or something, I guess. But so am I. Hey! I just, I just got interviewed by a Japanese film crew for a show called Proposal and uh, they're just running off. They've filmed the star, they've filmed the children and uh, now they're going to go off and do what else they do. This Hi. is Kanawaki, oh, sorry, <laughs> Kanawaki Kanako Hi. and she's a TV star from, yeah, no, no, <laughs> from, from uh, Tokyo and they're here filming today at the uh, Vine Bridge and they interviewed me and they'll probably cut it out <laughs> <laughs> but it was a pleasure to do it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Everyone's gone over on the um on the trolley, which is coming back now by the sound of it. So I'll be next, I think. Hopefully don't get run over by it. Oh, this is awesome. I might have to do some pulling myself, though, I think. Probably better than going to the bridge that's close to our place because there's two bridges, two bridges here, plus the wooden cart called a uh, Yakata, I think. And here, I got it to be on Japanese TV. So sometime in May, apparently, it's going to be on some Japanese TV channel. I'll leave the uh, details there. No, it's, I'm probably there's no way I'm going to have this edited before it gets broadcast. So yeah, at some point, I was on Japanese TV. So now. We're off to the Scarecrow Village. What's that you ask? Well, wait and see. Well, this is kind of strange. There's a couple of guys here on the uh, pole and they're just sitting here not moving. I'll just go check. <coughs> well, aren't these the uh, creepiest looking scarecrows of all time? This is a little village um, just behind me. is um, famous for its scarecrows and these are the first two in coming into town. They're very cool. Very, very cool. But there's more, there's more. That way. Found the Blair Witch mother load of creepy scarecrows. They're all over this town, it's fantastic. There's families, there's old people, there's workers, there's uh, people working in fields over there. And um, actually one, there was one old lady crouched over in the field and we thought that's a really good one, it was really realistic and then she moved. Um, that was not a scarecrow. But all the others, which I'll point out in a minute, are real scarecrows, they're awesome. Actually, they're not that creepy at all. They're more like um, Waldorf and what's his name from the Muppets. Uh, they're really cool. They're very, very cool. Thank you. 
That one behind me looks freaky realistic. <laughs> There you have it, Quirky Scarecrow Village is quirky. It's really, really, very cool. Um, if you're ever in the Kagawa, oh, no, Tokushima region of Shikoku, it is well worth dropping in. It's just scarecrows, but it's just cool. Someone to share these moments with. delicious food and <laughs> mummy and daddy have got our delicious food. It's like three package meals from Lawson. Awesome. You don't even have a big one. No, I've just taken some out and they're around about 500 yen or 400 yen each and they're yeah, quite a mixed variety of stuff. Rice and meat and vegetables and fish and all sorts of stuff. Dad got this. And yeah, well while we're there, when we bought all this stuff, we were given some peel-off tickets promoting some young boy band or something like that. And yeah. uh, <laughs> and we peeled off seven tickets we're they entitled to. The Soul Brothers. The Soul Brothers, anyway. And um, one of the peel-off tickets won a prize and it was a can of something. It's alcohol. Um, but it's not beer. So I'm gonna try it. So yeah, thanks Georgia. I don't know what it is, but we're gonna try it right now. <laughs> it's lemon and it's very strong. Um, I Dad, think she said it might have like been vodka or something like that. But, yeah. Dad, you would just like this. <laughs> Daddy's happy. <laughs> Thank you, Lawson. This is Tuck from Ear Vine Guest House yes. here uh, in Tuck. 23 Tuck. years old. <laughs> 23 years old. <laughs> And Tuck has been wonderful. He has looked after us very well. This is the best, <laughs> the, our favourite place we've stayed at here in Japan this time. And the kids love it because of the uh, <laughs> Nintendo. <laughs> but Tuck's looked after us very well. Yay. Thank you, Thank Tuck. You. <laughs> staying at the Ear Vine Bridge Guest House. The rear garden has a dining and lounge area with Brandon's favourite thing ever, the Nintendo. It also has a fully equipped kitchen. I can have a bad time, make a big fuss and cry. Upstairs are the bathrooms and bedrooms. Like many Japanese guest houses, the facilities, bathroom and toilet, are shared. But for the last couple of days, we've been the only guests, so we haven't had to share with anyone. Our room was a typical traditional tatami mat room, with enough room for four futons. We are leaving the beautiful Ia Valley today 
to go to Matsuyama. So at the moment, I'm just picking up the car and I'm uh, just going to drive back to the guest house and pick up our bags and then we're hitting the road. And it was absolutely beautiful, a wonderful place to stay. Tak was a wonderful host and we'd love to come here again. So should you, it's really nice. Great spot. We are actually looking forward to it. Um, I, th I think we've gone through back to Australia because there's actually a poisonous snake here. Actually, it's just a poisonous snake. There's only one that's in there somewhere. I don't think we'll go looking for it. I'm scared. I'm scared. Randy and I are heading off in our little yellow and red ladybug and we're going yeah. up on the monorail. <laughs> Probably not as exciting as zip lining, but it has its own terror. Trust me. Oh, there's another one ahead of us, yeah. We're yet to get to the top of this massive mountain, but uh, we're getting there slowly. It's getting hot. It is getting hot, isn't it, Brandy? It's not getting hot. Oh, you're getting hot, eh? Yeah, it's, been a, it's a beautiful sunny day. 15 degrees here in the Eagle Valley. We have reached the top. Terrifying big the drop down. Thumbs up to you. Brandon sharing some of our noodles as well, and it's pretty good. This is called Ia Bijin or something like that. Ia Bijin, um, and it's one of the local uh, specialty soda places. We thought this would be a little quiet restaurant on the side of the road, um, and it is. But uh, we went downstairs to the toilet and just opened up into this huge hotel. There's actually a, a big hotel complex underneath this little um, roadside restaurant.